We want to prove that the angles in any triangle add up to 180 degrees. Before we prove this theorem, let's do a little bit of revision. On a straight line, we have a straight angle, which is 180 degrees. You can see that it's half of a circle, which is 360 degrees. When we have parallel lines, and a line cutting the parallel lines, that line is called a transversal, there are eight angles formed. We are concentrating on the angles between the parallel lines, these four angles here, and on either side of the transversal we've got alternate angles. So the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2. If you could imagine drawing a Z, those would be the corners of the Z. And angle 3 is equal to the measure of angle 4. And that's like a backward Z, those are the corners of the Z. So alternate angles are equal. Now let's prove the theorem. So here we have a diagram of a triangle. Note I'm just drawing a freehand. And I'm labelling the triangle ABC. Now beside it, I'm writing down what I'm given. So I'm given a triangle ABC, and I'm going to label the angles, number them, just to make things easy. So with angles 1, 2 and 3. It's a good idea to write down what you're given as you're drawing the diagram. Now I write down what I'm setting out to prove. Now, as written up here, I want to prove that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I want to prove that the measure of 1 and 2 and 3 all added together give me 180 degrees. These lines here mean measure of. Now, my final line of my proof should be exactly the same as what I set out to prove. Now, for this theorem, we need a construction. That is, we have to add in something to our diagram in order to be able to prove it. So, through A, I've drawn a line parallel to BC. And I'm putting in my arrows to show that they're parallel. And now I write down what I've just done. And when I drew that parallel line, I made up two more angles. So I'm going to number those angles and write that down in my construction. Now I'm ready to do my proof. Now, with our prior knowledge, remember that we said that on a straight line, we have a straight angle. So these three angles here, 4, 1 and 5, add up to 180 degrees. So that's my starting point. And I'm going to write down how I know that, because this is a straight angle. Now also, because these are parallel, I know that we've got one pair of alternate angles over here with this transversal and another pair of alternate angles with the second transversal. So 4 and 2 are equal and also 5 and 3. And the reason is they're alternate angles. Now, if we look at our original straight angle, which is made up of 4 and 1 and 5, we're going to replace the 4 with the 2, because they're equal, and we're going to replace the 5 with the 3, because they're equal. Now, let's write that down. So, these three add up to be 180 degrees. 
Now the 4 is equal to the 2, so I'm going to write that instead of it, so I'm replacing it or substituting it. I'm going to leave the 1 the same because it belongs inside the triangle. And instead of 5, I'm writing 3 because they're equal. So 2, 1 and 3 also equal 180 degrees. Now just my final line, therefore. And I'm going to write down exactly the same as I wrote. Therefore I can say angles 1, 2 and 3 equal 180 degrees.